Did you ever think before that you were going to get to, to meet Pope Francis? No. It's ironic because days before that, I was, I was wishing I could see uh, him. I never thought that in a million years I would have to see him on my mother's birthday. Gerard and his mother, Illuminata, have known Monsignor Jamie Gigantiello since he was at St. Patrick's in Bay Ridge. When Monsignor Jamie called Gerard about the possibility of meeting the Pope, Illuminata didn't take the idea seriously. That would be, it's really impossible for us, even we want to, on our own, that will never happen because of his condition, transportation, and how? How? Then, just two hours before Pope Francis' plane was to arrive at JFK, Monsignor Jamie called to say Maimonides Medical Center was providing an ambulance to take Gerard to the airport. Ambulance siren from my house to the airport. So it was like everybody was giving the way for the ambulance to get through, and we made it to the airport. And everything was like, when we went to the airport, everything was like a red carpet was, was spread in front of us. Illuminata clearly remembers the moment Pope Francis saw her son on the tarmac. He was just like anxious to meet the people, and then he was going straight to my to Gerard. And I, just like that, that energy of like, I'm meeting a special person. Like, it's just like he has eyes already for the people that he will see first. From afar, I spotted, he spotted already. And guess what? The first that he did touch was Gerard. He had a angelic face about him. He just smiled and did a thing to my forehead, and that was it. Gerard was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when he was eight months old, but he has completed his secondary education and is now taking college courses. He's active in social media and runs his own website where he showcases his graphic design work and writes about his Catholic faith. In his own press release about his encounter with the Pope, Gerard writes about he has long been drawn to Pope Francis for his humility and his acceptance of people of different backgrounds, beliefs, and sexual orientations. I asked Gerard how his own experience of his meeting with Pope Francis differs from the way the world sees it. As a Catholic person, I see it. I see it as this is my own story to tell. So let me tell it my way. And I think that is a good example on how Pope Francis wants us to live. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.